happy new year this is gonna be our all level friendly combo for today floor work combo if you like my youtube tutorials you're gonna love the patreon i started with my pole sister vera i have the link down below in my description here so go check it out all right first part of our floor work we're gonna be sitting so kind of like looks kind of like a little mermaid position i think we have our feet together i really want you to pop open that chest and stick that bum out right nice and open here we don't want to be slouched we don't want to straight back we want to have nice curves here and you're going to lay back here oh, lean back so my feet i have that right foot in front of my left this is my left arm okay down on the floor so i'm facing my left side here now we want to do a nice big fan right sweep nice and wide bend the knees now for the fan very important we want to draw a circle we always have this circular movement we're doing so what I usually see is people kind of just go across here. They go back, they straighten the leg, and they just go across. It's a little flat, I think. Here, let me show you here. So I lay back, I go down, straighten that top leg. I bring it up, straighten the left, up, and over this kind of looks like a, a windshield wiper you know if you really want your fan to look really nice you gotta engage those abs and you gotta draw a circle with those feet right i'm gonna show you this way so you can see what's happening here i bring the legs as close as i can to my face Okay, this is what really gets me here in the abs. So I lean back, I take that top leg, which is my right leg, and I sweep it right from the front to my face. That other one follows, that left leg follows. As close as you can, pull those legs back. And then that right leg goes in front, left leg follows in front. So I do like a half circle, right? But it's a curve. Close, over, in front, right? Instead of just a straight line. I bring it over, close, in front. This is gonna make your fan look bigger. And then of course you wanna try to open the hips as much as you can, right? I understand we're all different levels. This is like a lot of, I think, active flexibility because I'm using my abs to pull my legs toward me and to widen them. We did this nice fan. I'm here. Let me start over here so you can see. Lean back on the forearms. Right leg sweeps. Bring it close, left leg follows open here arch now i'm gonna push into my hands so i'm down here i'm on my right forearm and my left hand because i'm turned over to the right so i have to push up open that chest so i can slide my feet under my bum so I'm here, push up, lift the bum, feet together, and start to slide the feet under the bum. Very important here, you want to arch, you want to back bend. So if you're looking in the mirror, you are going to look at yourself. But if you want a nice video, um, what really looks good is you dip the head back because you're going to see it doesn't look so nice 
if I'm here and I'm like looking forward, right? I don't look as bendy. It doesn't look as dramatic. And then I add a little hair wig also. I'm going to show you from the side. Okay. So I'm down here. I open my chest. I push up. Now I'm going to press into my hands, squeeze my glutes, push my hips up and slide my feet under to the other side. So what I do is at the end of my little swoop, my heels under my bum, I keep my bum a little off the floor to go into my next move. Let's say I'm here. I do my little sweep. I'm pressing into my hands. You see I'm a little lifted and I swing that right hand forward and I slide reposition the legs. Okay, so you don't wanna sit all the way back down. I'm gonna show you here so you can see. Let's do our sweep. I sweep here. You see I'm still lifted, I have space here. I bring that right hand forward, okay? Press into my left. I slide the right leg forward, get onto my left knee, take my position here. We're not relaxing here. I don't know if you guys feel it, but I feel the workout. <laughs> so I'm here, right? Again, as always, I'm gonna tell you, don't have a straight back, don't tuck that tailbone in, okay? You wanna arch as much as you can. I get down low, like I said, and kind of open my chest more as much as I can. Now, my right foot, what am I doing here? I'm turning my toes toward the floor. It looks nicer. I'm gonna come back here so you can see. So I bring that leg out and I turn my toes inward, right? Instead of being here, I'm gonna turn, right? So you're not collapsed here, right? This is kinda, this is kinda hard. If I turn my feet in, my toes in, I can press here, right? Nice straight line. Now we're gonna do one wavy leg. Now with my super straight right leg, I'm gonna push that leg back. Push it back. That's not all I'm doing. My chest is going down, so I'm using my arms. So I'm here, chest down, push back, right? Now I'm gonna bend the knee slightly, just a little, and pull it forward. This is when I round, and I kinda tuck in, right? And then I straighten. So I'm really using my whole body. I'm using my arms to push. I'm doing kind of like body wave with my upper body. And I'm doing a leg wave. So there's a lot going on. Again, let's do it together. Hands and knees, right foot forward. Push that leg back, dive down and bent position here. Now I do my wave and at the end of my wave, I'm gonna leave my leg wherever it is, it's up here somewhere. I'm gonna go for my shoulder stand. I'm gonna get onto my left shoulder so, right hand is in the ground. I'm gonna remove that left back hand, bring my shoulder down, take that left arm back, place my shoulder into the ground, side of my head into the ground here. So all my weight should be on my shoulder. You see, my head can move. 
it's not on my head, it's on my shoulder here. Hips super high. If your hips are too low, I feel it more on my shoulder, it hurts more. And you're out of alignment. It's not going to work. My hips are, are really high, and this is going to help me for the next part, right, to get even higher and to go into my straddle. Right hand is pushing into the ground, right? Have my right hand here, elbow bent, pushing into the ground, right? Hips nice and high. Now I'm going to straighten that back leg. Press into my shoe box here. And I'm going to slide that right leg forward as much as I can for a nice big straddle. Straight ankles, okay? We don't want to be here. Right? Look at that. First of all, I'm breaking my long, beautiful line that I always want to create. Second of all, it's not stable. Like I don't feel stable when I bend my ankles. You wanna have super straight ankles so you can really push, have a nice straight line, right? You're nice and solid, nice and strong. Nothing can break you, right? And open up as much as you can. Lots of abs, hips high, push into that right hand, push into that shoulder. I can still move my head, you see? I really don't have my weight in my head. I have it in my shoulder. Then I'm going to slide it back. Slide that right leg back, feet together. When you slide the leg back, you can even do a little clack if you want. So I'm here. Just remember, you got to sickle the feet in a little bit, right? So I slide that right leg back. And now, again, make sure you have a nice arch in the back. So I'm here, back arch. Slide the feet down. Remember, no broken ankles, OK? We want to press into the heels, right? Slide down, arch, 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 arch. Keep pressing, pushing into that right hand to help you. So I have weight on my shoulder, my right hand, and in my shoe boxes here, okay? If I flex my feet, break my ankles, I feel a lot of weight on my shoulder, so actually, Straight ankles is going to help you relieve your shoulder a little bit. Now, the shoulder might feel a little sore at first if you're first learning um, shoulder stand. So take it easy. Just take your time. Do both sides. It will go away with time. You'll get used to it. I don't even feel it anymore. Now, at the end of it, we're going to do a little speed bump. I love speed bumps. So I'm here, I'm here, I'm gonna slide down. I gotta get down enough so I can go over to the side and hit the side of my hip. I'm doing my right hip. So I'm here, right? I get down low, arch. My chest is almost on the floor, pretty much. Go over to the right, bam, hit the floor. Then I'm going to come back up onto the knees. So you really want to make this fast. You want to hit the floor with that side of your hip. Bam. Come back. Knees. Slide back. This is nice if you have shorts. Your bum is really going to jiggle. I love that. We want the jiggle. <laughs> Now I'm going to push back, push with that right arm. I bring the left forward so I can push back, head down, hair whip, 
Let's do it together. The whole thing. I'm going to go slow with you, then you can practice on your own. So I'm here. Let's just call this mermaid, mermaid position. So I go down, sweep. Here, I push and I do a hair whip. You see, I do it fast. So as I bring my hips up, my head goes to the right, forward, back. So I'm here, I end here. Fast, fast, slow. Here, down, fast, fast, slow. Fast, fast. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up, write a comment down below. And guys, check out my Patreon. I have the link down below in my description. On there, I'm gonna go more into detail in my tutorials and I'll have exclusive tutorials on signature combos of mine. So go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm.